Hey guys, um, welcome back to Aliens Airsoft. Um, this video is a review. Um, obviously, I haven't been on YouTube in a while, so I've been making anything. So um, I like to start by uh, doing a short little thing. I got a comment on YouTube about how to remove the rear sight off the Lancer Tactical. So uh, someone was putting a red dot on or something. So uh, here's how you do it. All right, so you have the Lancer Tactical. Um, Obviously, you have your rail where your rear side is, and pretty much to take this off, all you gotta do is unscrew it. Um, there's really no trick to getting this off, but unscrew this little knob, and your sight will come off. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how to do it. Let me get this back on, and I'll show you what I'm unboxing slash reviewing. Alright, I don't know why I just said unboxing, but uh, I'm not really unboxing anything. I'm showing you what it comes with, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, this review is the Lancer Tactical LT-06T, um, which stands for the sixth version of the Lancer Tactical in tan, or dark earth. Um, which I was expecting more of a, more of a, a tan like this, or this. But what I got is this, which is kind of like OD, not that big of a deal, but not really what I expected. So here it is, the LT-06T M4A1 1-1 scale. Um, this gun is full polymer and ABS and metal. Um, it has its parts that are a little bit of everything, so let's start uh, from the back, I guess. Um, you got your... Six position adjustable stock, um, which is removable, and a plastic sling mount back here. Um, no rubber butt plate on here or anything, but it is textured. Uh, get it nice on your shoulder. Um, it's always a nice feature having an adjustable stock, so it suits your uh, height and arm length. Um, so moving up, you have your charging handle that releases the uh, dust cover, which isn't on right now. And that comes from my first ball. Um, this thing really doesn't stay shut that often. Um, it's not wanting to shut right now, but when it is shut, sometimes it'll come open when I'm shooting, and that's not really that good. Um, you can buy uh, new little latches or whatever that keep this shut for really, really cheap. I know I can, but I haven't done that yet. Um, and another thing is kind of gets stuck sometimes. Not stuck, but I won't go all the way back unless it's pushed forward. Um, no big deal. Um, but pull this back and it reveals your hop up inside. Um, also on this side you have your uh, magazine release button. Which ejects the 300 round metal high cat mag. Like their tactical trademarks. Um, uh, in the mag well you have a little bit of wobble side to side but none forward or back. And it's a nice click when it goes in and it's not falling out on you anytime soon. I'll tell you that. Um, your trigger assembly down here is all metal, and it does have a full metal version 2 gearbox housed inside, um, with a 6.03 millimeter type 4 barrel that extends all the way to about the flash hider, which is really nice and gives you some extreme precision, precision shots. I can't talk today. Um, so that's pretty much it all for this side, um. On both sides, obviously, you have the uh, pistol grip, which is polymer. Pretty much the whole uh, upper and lower receiver on the gun is polymer. Um, the back, I believe, is either polymer or ABS. I'm pretty sure ABS, and same with the forward, forward grip. So um, the pistol grip is really, really nice. Um, it has a really, really nice feel to it, and it has a uh, hex ridge uh, motor head adjustment. Which isn't always the best, but it does what it needs to do. Um, so that's pretty much for that side, I guess. Moving to the other side, you have Lancer Tactical Trademarks over here. 
Um, you have your fake bolt catch, doesn't do anything. And uh, this little thing just pops out when you eject the, eject the mag. Um, everything is pretty sturdy on there and it won't break off on you. Um, up here you have your front uh, disassembly pin and back here you have the back one over by your fire selector. The fire selector is really nice, it makes it click when you go to semi uh, in full auto. Right now I'm on safe, semi, and full auto. Um, this gun shoots pretty well full auto and semi. Um, it's pretty loud and it does feel like it kicks a little. Not back, but you can feel it jerk on you. Um, which, you know I mean, that's kind of cool to me, I kind of like that. But, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention on this side, you have the forward assist back here, but it doesn't do anything, but you can push it. Um, so moving up, you have the delta ring, which when pulled back releases one of your uh, heat covers. I think that's what it's called. But uh, which houses your 1200 milliamp battery that is provided with this gun. Um, it is a, not stick type, but it's not nunchuck. I don't know what it's called. It's kind of like a brick, whatever you want to call that. Um, which is pretty nice. It keeps the gun. Uh, it'll last you all day. Um, you won't need to buy anything else unless you wanted to get a, uh, what's it called? LiPo battery. There we go. Okay, sorry. Had a uh, brain fart right there. Um, you have a metal sling mount up here in your triangle side up top, which is removable. Um, and then your bird cage. Now the question of this barrel was, is it metal or is it uh, plastic? And actually, I don't think it's either one. Uh, to me, this looks like a PVC type material, and that's why uh, when Airsoft GI dropped this like this, it was like wobbling like crazy. Uh, that's because of PVC, which kind of gives it a factor of durability, meaning that it won't bend or break. It'll just kind of wobble. Um, now, obviously, it doesn't wobble like this, but when it on impact or something, it, it's pretty nice. Like obviously, it's pretty nice. Um, so what I'm now talking about. The uh, carry handle, which is removable, um, has a rear sight which moves uh, up and down, left, right, whatever you want for windage and elevation by simply turning a knob and it flips forward for a uh, closer range shot and backwards for a longer range. So that's pretty much the gun. Now what it comes with, I kind of did this a little backwards, what it comes with is the mag, the gun, um, battery and charger, the battery is in the gun. A 0 0.20 gram Lancer Tactical BBs. Uh, the packaging is not a lot nicer than I had last time. This has a thousand BBs in it, by the way. A small, small, small Allen key for something. I have no idea what that's for. And your Lancer Tactical manual. And the unjamming rod, which I don't know where it is. But this does not come with a sling or a... Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Doesn't come with sling though. Um, so that's pretty much the gun, guys. Um, here's what it sounds like semi. And full out. Uh, the battery's not fully charged right now, by the way. But it is uh, quite loud. Um, this is the other Lancer Tactical Mag from the other one, and it feeds. And this is a uh, Elite Force tack ma or high cap mag, and they both feed um, and fit nicely in the guns. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe, share this video, uh, get it out there to other people. Uh, you know, favorite this, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys later with some more reviews.